A Children's Book About Cheating by Joy Berry. Help Me Be Good. A Children's Book About Cheating by Joy Berry. This book is about Sam and his sister Maggie. Reading about Sam and Maggie can help you understand and deal with cheating. Sam and Maggie are playing a game. Maggie thinks, I'm supposed to move forward five spaces, but I think I'll move seven spaces while he is not looking. Most people want to win the game they play, but everyone cannot win. If someone is going to win, someone else must lose. Maggie says, I win! Sam says, I lose. Froggy thinks, I quit. No one likes to lose. When you lose, you might think that you have lost because you are not as smart as those who win. Losing might make you feel dumb. Maggie's excited she won and laughs, hee hee hee. Sam thinks, I'm so dumb, I can't do anything. Frog thinks, ugh, I feel like a pollywog. When you do not feel good about yourself, you might think you cannot do anything well. You might feel that you will never win. Sam sighs, oh, I'm nothing but a loser. Frog thinks, I could just croak. If you lose often, you might begin to think you must cheat in order to win. You are cheating when you sneak and break the rules of a game. Sam says, if I want to win, maybe I'll have to cheat. Froggy thinks, that's no way to win. Do not cheat in order to win. There are other things you can do to make sure you win at least some of the time. Play with people your age or younger. Play with people who are equal to you in experience and ability. Maggie says, do you want to play this game? Sam says, I'm not sure, I'll think about it. Frog thinks, how about tadpole tag? Play equal chance games with people who are older than you. Equal chance games are won with luck rather than skill or practice. Sam says, I'll play with you, but I'd rather not play this game. Let's play old maid instead. Do not always play games you know you will lose. Play games you know you will have a chance to win. Maggie says, okay, I'll play old maid with you. Frog thinks, I'll be the old maid. Know the rules of a game before you play it. Make sure the people who play with you know the rules. Then make sure that everyone playing the game agrees to follow the rules. Sam says, before we begin playing, let's talk about the rules. Maggie says, okay. Froggy thinks, how do, you, how do we play? Follow the rules when you play a game. Do not do anything that is against the rules. Do not try to change the rules in the middle of the game. Maggie flips her card and says, I don't like the rules of this game. I want to change them. Sam says, I'd rather keep the rules the way they are. Froggy thinks, sure, just because I'm winning. Remember these things. You play for fun when you play a game. Having a good time is more important than winning. Concentrate on having fun and try not to worry about winning or losing. Sam says, this is fun. Maggie thinks, I hope I win. I couldn't stand to lose. If people cheat during a game, talk with them about it in a nice way. Tell them you know they are cheating and ask them to stop. Sam says, you're trying to look at my cards again. That's cheating. Please don't do it anymore. Froggy thinks, what should I discard? Hmm. 
Stop playing with people who continue to cheat. Maggie says, I'm sorry, I won't cheat anymore. Remember, no one can win all the time. When you lose a game, do not think of yourself as a loser. Do not think you will never win. Do not give up or stop trying. Think about the things you are good at. Remember the times you have won. Sam says, I'm not a loser. If I keep trying, I can win sometimes. Froggy thinks, that's the spirit. It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want other people to cheat, you must not cheat. Sam thinks, it's fun to play when no one cheats. Froggy thinks, I still don't understand this game. The end. A note to parents about cheating. Cheaters never prosper. This old adage is only partially true. Cheaters often win in the short run. However, they seldom win in the long run. Cheaters usually end up losing playmates and friends. More important, they lose their integrity and thus the respect of others. Above all else, most children want to win. This is what makes it difficult for them to avoid cheating when given the opportunity to do so. The purpose of this book is to help children realize how cheating can harm rather than help them. Discussing this book with your child will help him or her learn the value of fair play. It will also steer your child away from being a cheater. Playing games with your child is a wonderful way to teach him or her how to play, win, and lose fairly. Playing with your child also provides the perfect opportunity for you to model equitable social behavior. Last but not least, playing games with your child gives you an opportunity to acknowledge and praise him or her when he or she overrides the natural desire to win with the learned desire to be fair. Thank you.